Hey, what's up everyone? Exciting video today and we have the C70 here. Now, I know you've already seen plenty of videos on this because it has been out for several months, but the reason we're doing this today is because Precision Camera has an announcement to make. We are finally a dealer for Canon Cinema Line products. So we got all the lenses, we got the C70, the C200s, the C300s, C500s, I believe we can even get the C700. So if you need anything Canon Cinema, we have it now at Precision Camera. And also, this is gonna be my first time actually shooting with the C70, so I'm not gonna say no to shooting with it. So we're not gonna jump super deep into specs today. We're gonna to go over some brief specs and then we're gonna get some footage for y'all to take a look at. But once again, just do wanna reiterate, Precision Camera does have Canon Cinema line. So once again, you need it, we got it. So enough of that, we're gonna get right into what makes this camera one of the hottest items of 2021. So starting off with the C70, we are getting a Super 35 dual gain output sensor, and we are getting a Digic 7 processor. So it's gonna be lightning fast. We also get, for auto focusing system, we're getting the dual pixel autofocus. So this is gonna be really reliable, and you don't see too much in cinema cameras of the past, but this camera is gonna get you reliable autofocus with facial tracking as well. For our recording modes, we are gonna get DCI 4K up to 60 frames per second. We are gonna get UHD 4K up to 120 frames per second, and in a cropped 2K mode, we're actually able to get up to 180 frames per second. So we are getting a camera that is capable of doing slow motion shots, which is really nice, and we don't have to get it down to uh, HD. We actually get a little bit nicer in that 2K crop mode, so that's exciting as well. Now, talking about these frame rates, the Canon C70 is going to take advantage of UHS-2 dual card slots, SD cards in the front. For the 180 frames per second, you are gonna need a fast enough card. Um, so V90 is gonna be the way to go. But for majority of the recording formats, you can actually use V60s, but we're gonna recommend that you go ahead and spend a little extra money and just get some V90 cards to start off with. One of the most notable differences between the C70 uh, from the rest of the cinema line is that this is using the RF mount system versus the EF. So you are gonna use the RF glass on this camera. Now, one of my personal favorite features of the Canon C70 are the built-in ND filters. I just absolutely love when a camera offers this feature and it makes shooting video a breeze. I mean, if I wanna be at a 1.8 and get a really shallow depth of field, I'm able to do that with the ND filters. So that's probably my favorite feature of this camera. Another great feature that you're getting on this is on the front side, we actually do get a BNC timecode port. Um, so if you're wanting to sync cameras up, then this is gonna be perfect for that as well. Now for audio inputs, for the size of this camera, um, we are going to get mini XLRs. So if you wanna use any of your regular like XLR microphones, you're just gonna need to buy a simple adapter. So we do get two inputs on that as well. Another cool feature on this camera is if you look all over it, we have plenty of buttons. Now, straight out of the box, those are honestly perfect for most of videographers, but if you buy this camera and you need your needs a little bit more specialized, well, you're gonna be happy to know that the 12 buttons that I have on the outside, I can actually customize up to 12 of them. So really great feature. Now let's talk about the ergonomics of this camera. Um, this is a thick boy and that's thick with two C's. It feels like a very large DSLR camera. So it's got a unique style because like cinema cameras, if you want to call that, are usually in a box format. Um, but this one feels like a DSLR with some added weight to the back end. I don't know. But uh, the grip style, it's got a really deep grip in it. So it's nice to carry around. And I am going to recommend the hand strap. Now it is also gonna come with a top handle. So if you need to mount anything to a cold shoe to the top, nice to have that as well. So we're not gonna be using the, this for today cause I'm gonna try to keep it as small as possible, but that is a feature that they add. And then on the top side, it is gonna come with this little screw you can take out. And what that for is to be able to measure the distance to the sensor. So just a neat little feature that they had or added onto the camera. And if you don't know what that's for, that's for like follow focusing. So you can focus properly when working with a crew. Now on the back side, we are gonna get a fully articulating screen. Um, it's a pretty decent size and it gets plenty of bright, so really happy with that overall. There are some instances where I would wanna be behind the camera and kind of tilt up. You're unable to do that with this dial. I wish a lot of the screens that came out were kind of designed like the S1H where you have that multi-tilt, but this is amazing regardless, so 
I wouldn't worry about that. And then the design on this camera is actually really thought well. It feels like they were able to fit everything in this small compact body because once you open up the screen, you have all the dials for your audio input. So everything is on the back side inside the LCD screen when it's packed up. It is gonna come with a BPA30 battery, so smaller than you get with the C300 and the C500. And testing it out today, but I'm seeing that you can get around three hours on a single battery. So we're gonna put that to the test today. Now, another feature that I absolutely love, and a few other cameras have implemented this into it, and I just think cameras of this style should just automatically come with it, but it's the, be able, it's the ability to be able to shoot nine by 16 aspect ratio. So if I wanna do any social media posts, like if I'm shooting some stuff specifically for Instagram stories, and you might be thinking that's crazy, why do I wanna shoot like that? This isn't a social media camera. Well, a lot of businesses are running ads on Instagram stories. So just to be able to actually line that up and see my frame beforehand, um, I just think that's a smart feature to have and something nice that Canon added into it. So that brings us to a close on the specs that I'm gonna talk about today. Like I said, more of an announcement video, but we're gonna get some footage today as well. We're here shooting with Alexis and we're at South Congress, one of our favorite spots. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we just got finished shooting with the Lexus. Now it's time for some final thoughts on what we thought about the C70. Um, so overall, this camera is phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, as soon as I attached the Ninja to record like the autofocusing, just what I was getting on that display, color-wise, the depth, it looked phenomenal. And I actually made the comment to Todd. I was like, man, this, this Canon color science is gorgeous. It's a beautiful camera. Uh, the ergonomics, like I said, it definitely is a unique feel to it, but you get used to it pretty often. Um, I did mention earlier straight out the box that all the buttons that you're gonna more than likely need are already assigned on the exterior. And that held true. I was rarely diving deep into the menus um, to change like ISO, white balance, anything like that. It was just all ready to go. Grip, amazing. The dual pixel autofocus was very, very, very solid. Um, so especially in 24 frames per second, um, it was tracking no issues whatsoever. Um, whenever Alexis like turned her head out of frame and it noticed that there wasn't a face, it still picked up like her body at least. So it was very snappy to just follow the whole time and really happy with the autofocus. Now I will say when I did throw it in 180 frames per second, I don't remember this being a feature, but um, I thought you just lost the facial tracking, but for some reason in the camera, it just lost any autofocus abilities whatsoever. Um, so manual focus, not a, a big issue. I actually do enjoy manual focusing uh, sometimes. Now, before we do close off, I do just want to reiterate what I said in the beginning. Precision camera is now a Canon cinema dealer. So like I said, you need any cinema glass, 
uh, any cinema line cameras. We have plenty in stock. So just make sure to give us a call or order online and we can definitely help you all out. Links to all this gear will be down below. And that's going to bring us to the close now. So like always, like, share and subscribe and we'll see you on our next video.